evening. My name is the Ferret, and I'm an alarm cop to serve of joyous win. Hello. Actually, I think I, my name is TF2 Public Ferret now, but uh, in my <laughs> mind, I'm always the Ferret. Anyway, today we're in process. I think it's believe one of your favourites of maps, isn't it? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, if it this is pretty much the only map that would make it into my top five that isn't a payload, purely because you know, leap pro skills, uber sick rollouts for the win. I mean, personally, I quite like it because you know it's a granary fast lane style map, but it actually is a twisty turny one with it's got kind of a two tier level system where you, you can get up and down. Yeah, I mean this is it. It's kind of it kind of is slightly higher higher elevated in my opinion than um, granary, just because like granary kind of excludes a couple of classes a little bit. Like snipers can't really do anything on granary, whereas this map is just like. Yeah, it's kind of like heaven for anybody, regardless of what you're playing. I mean, yeah, it is a soldier playground, um, admittedly, but, you know, any other class can have a lot of fun. A little bit better than most of the other 5 CP maps. Yeah, I'm actually, this one, this is a nice map for engineers as well. There's certain points in this area, these areas where you can really do some damage. But anyway, back, I think back on the you know, game in particular, um, looks of it, I think, you know, teams looking, again, reasonably balanced. Nothing we love about the you guys is that you kind of play sensible loadouts rather than. Okay, time for five spies. Um, but in any case, but yeah, from the looks of it, I think Blue have got the initial lead so far, considering actually, look at the points. So it's still in single figures for the time being, so nobody's really pushing out ahead yet. Not even Shaggy. Yeah, it's a weird one, like, especially at this point as well. I mean, you've pretty much... Blue coming from midpoint going into the second have pretty much got, you know, three routes which are all chokes. So it's kind of a difficult one to attack from midpoint. Mid itself is very easy get to get into because you've got lots of areas to come from. And, you know, yeah, soldiers, I mean, if anybody is any good at rocket jumping, then they're already at midpoint before the rest of the team is anyway. But, yeah, they've made it work, and usually I tend to find that the last point, unless there's, like, someone doing a good job of protecting it like an NG, it tends to go quite fast. Yeah, no. So I'm just going to say, body dog there. Yeah, I saw that sticky trap go up. Like, I'm going to go for this door. Blam! Just flies across the map. <laughs> but, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, with this, this is a map that really, really, you know, praises speed. If you, I mean, Scouts is a lo lovely scout map. For that reason, I love playing it. But, you know, the nice twisty round roots. It's got a nice stealth angle to it. Stealth movement is really important for a scout. Yeah, I mean, on the sort of, um, I guess, not so much flip side, but as an addendum to that, spy works really well in this as well. Just especially the back area. If a spy can get into an enemy base, it's a great area just to run around because there's so many health packs and stuff like that. Yeah, this actually maps quite generous, really. I mean, you can actually get quite a lot done here. I mean, this is great for engineers. I haven't seen anything from them yet, but you know, it's early in the game, and usually those other three centuries make themselves known when you run into them. But anyway, two or three game. Normally, I always tend to find that, you know, this game tends to hover around one to four rather than two to three. But I think we've got a lot of good players on today, so, you know, no shenanigans. Yeah, really, this, this map kind of lends itself nicely to not so much like uh, sort of defensive engineering, more attacky engineering basically if you can get up a teleporter um, I mean there is one ideal spot I won't give it away but if you can get it in that particular spot it's pretty much game over for the other team um, and you kind of don't even need a sentry for it which is you know it's a bit of an odd one where the teleporter truly is in this map the most important uh, piece of equipment for the engine personally I say for any map but I can see what you mean some mean some games is like completely vital I mean Second point, Egypt. That's a bitch of a map for Blue <laughs> to get up with, and you know teleport required there. But in this one, it's all oh, around. It's, it's just a super advantage. One thing I am seeing a lot from these teams, though, is they're, they're flanking really heavily, and that's for me a sign of a good team. The amount of times I've seen teams that kind of just keep going the front way, trying to hammer themselves into the enemy team, and not try to do something clever like get around them. Yeah, I mean. It is nice to see people opting for several different routes rather than, you know, obviously the main part of the game is going to be in this middle choke sort of in between. But, you know, there, there has been a red sentry here and there that seems to have been, you know, consistently been taken down, but, you know, is also going up again and again. So it does prove that there are people going here, there and everywhere, not just sticking to the midpoint. Yeah, the thing I'm seeing here, actually, this is a lovely stalemate. Uh, I mean, 
We, I've seen stalemates before, but this one. The teams are really hammering at each other, trying to get through. I mean, it's only going to take a, one good break here or there to get a blitz going. But look at Red, though. They're trying to get back on mid. I mean, these are, these are actually quite balanced teams so far, except for Shaggy's kill streak of seven. And then, oh, he died. Well, that's gone. Um, but yeah, blue team... Some, they're on the, they're not on up and up, but they're, they're holding their ground though. Actually, they were actually winning for most of that time, but just that red are now starting to kill things off. That you know, red's back in the game now. Can you know, blue team kind of put themselves out of this? Yeah, that's the problem. If if blue, were, I you know, they were in quite a attacking mindset really, considering they managed to. Not so much push forward, but keep their placement really, really well for uh, quite a long time. And, you know, just looking at the points, it's easy to see that, you know, Red were getting a lot more kills than Blue were. But Blue were still holding their ground really well. If I feel like you know, Red may just be marginally the slightly more powerful team. If Blue crack at all, you know, like I said, uh, second to last point, kind of just... If you can get in there and get going, then it's pretty much... You know, the last point goes super, super quick if you've got, like, a scout and a soldier or something on there. Yeah, I mean, I, think, I always think this is kind of a very scouty game. I mean, if you take the... If you're, you roll out, go for mid, start capping that. You just scout, go straight for their second point, try and do some damage there. If your team take, you know, mid, start capping second, you start putting reeling on that, you know, that offensive. You know, the amount of times I've to carry a game just simply as scout by capping things is amazing. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that, that is partly why as well the soldier is kind of like a really, really keen choice for this map. Just because of how how ideal it is for jumping around. Like, pretty much everything in this map is designed for rocket jumping, to be honest. And it's partly why I love it, just because it is so fun just to chain these big, long lines of jumps all the way into the midpoint or even the second point. Well, from the looks right now, though, I think Blue are now on their last legs. Um, not sure they're going to defend this. Or they're going to start taking things back. Maybe not. The thing I do find with last point though is that I don't know. It, it does cap really quickly, but it's so open though. It's really easy to intercept that last point. I mean, you take something like a dust bowl, that first point in dust bowl, the, sec the second point in dust bowl, in that barn. It's so hard to get to when you come out red spawn. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, it is really, really far away. But then, you know, I get really the problem here is the fact that while blue are very, very close to that point to defend it. The cap, the second point is also incredibly close to the final point. So, you know, Red have got an area that they've basically claimed, and they only have to go around the corner to start a really good attack. So it's kind of like Blue are kind of an, 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 at an advantage, but also Red are as well, and it kind of just ends up being a balanced uh, attack defense. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing we see in Five Gorge a lot. I mean, the attacking team in a 4 1 4 1 game. The attack team just wins because they're right on top of the enemy and then get to their spawn defending easier. Beyond that, it's really hard to break out of that if you're on the defending team. One second, please. Sorry about that, back in the game. Okay, so what's going on here now? Well, look from the looks of it, red aren't, blue have managed to retake their second point. Good for them, actually. You know. Now, red now they're reading back from the defensive. Not sure what happened there. I think red kind of got there but couldn't really nail it down. Now for the time being, are blue going to kind of make a break back here? I mean, this is the thing. I mean, yeah, people say it's kind of a little bit unbalanced, but for the time being, though, it looks reasonably okay. I mean, teams aren't wholly, I mean, they're not wholly unbalanced. Red's got the edge, but this blue team is still punching quite hard. What we've seen here is we've seen more movement we gave from blue team. They're trying to actually you know, keep capping the points and that kind of stuff, not trying to kill the enemy team so much. Red is actually defending quite well here. It's a really heavy situation. Oh, Epic Killer, he's been doing a nice job so far. Red don't have a heavy, which may explain the reason why they're having to move in so well. You remember those big flab fortresses there are pretty handy of just moving in to soak up all the damage.
simply Jarvis there trying to burn every on red team. Not nice effort, but unfortunately that medic was there just to heal everybody back up again, which is kind of a pity. Oh, what happened there with that charge? I mean, Body Dog was in that. Basic, you know, just went to stab and then got charged high by a demo man. That was unfortunate of timings. And it looks like it's a bit of a break in the action. I think both teams are getting a little bit tired, constantly ramming each other. The control point is being contested. And who's this? Betamax on the point. It's Plain Soldier. And I think that's the um, Batanis backup. And unfortunately, that was knocked out. Steve, Steve McLovin in there is like, no, 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 for you. Stop buffing your team. Get off on point. But this is nice. That was nicely done there. One second, please. Sorry about that. I'm afraid we have a little bit of tech problems over here. Unfortunately, Alarm Copter can't really be with us. I'm not sure for what reason. So we're just going to continue as is. Dive in, red ears trying to get back onto this second point. Yeah, not seen this game so far. I've been going for quite a while, uh, you know, despite interruptions. And, you know, for whatever it people say, I think it's actually quite a balanced game in so far. Neither team has really overly given ground. Blue haven't, were winning in the first place, kind of been giving ground since then, but they haven't been able to do that. Ah, that might be it. Thanks, Andy Jarvis. Okay, that's probably the reason. Uh, the good old fashioned power cup. Now, okay, so we'll, we'll c continue boldly on solo commentary. We might have to organize something else another time, but for the time being, though, we'll the show's still going. Okay, what's going on here? We'll see the epic kill up there. Nice, you're just suppressing that area. I mean, that's, that's the thing you gotta reconsider really sometimes your spam tactics. You know, Heavy can do that, and who's that dancing around him? That's Peace, damn good Scout. Uh, unfortunately, no Noroxmas is just there. That's kind of the unfortunate thing. Scout versus Heavy is um, pretty much, can the Heavy hit the Scout, and how much flab does the Heavy have? You know, if you're using the old-fashioned Scatter Gun, you can possibly kill one in good three shots at very close range. More likely four. But the problem is, if the Heavy actually knows how to aim very well as a Heavy, yeah, his days are scout numbered. Very difficult to take on pro heavies. Is such thing as a pro heavy? Uh, answer on the postcard, please. Now as the epic battle rages and continues on. The control point is being captured. Yeah, yep, it just does seem as if Blue are holding a position. And that's, you know, the time is actually going down here. It's looking a bit problematic for the time being in that, you know, we could enter a stalemate. A little bit of difficulty there. And an Apple managed to take him out. Nicely done. <laughs> LJ Boy, that that was. Oh no, I think he fell took down by the uh, mini there. That was. It's never wise to start running into a heavy. I mean, you've got to try and catch them when they're not watching you. Or probably with a back burner. There you got Sh Sudar there. Or is it Sugar? Oh, Sugar back. Yeah, G back. With a D there for a second. So it looks like Red are claiming this ground. It's looking good. Are we going to finally see a break in the ranks here? Oh, well, and somebody's on the back cap. Oh, and Shaggy just about gets that. Nicely done. Okay, round two. Now, here's the thing. I know Red just about won that game, but it wasn't, you know, just for Blue there, really giving him a complete drubbing doing so. That was quite a long fought game there, actually, you know. Who's at the point? I think that's Shaggy. Yes, it's Shaggy. And there's who's that? Is that Chuck State? No, Steve McLovin. Nice bit of scoutry there. Just getting in there straight away. Okay, welcome back. Okay, and alarm cops on the way back, guys. Don't worry. News from the front. He is coming back. <gasps> kind of like Optimus Prime in the movie. It's like, you know, all bases are getting attacked. And it's like, we, get, we better get through the Prime. And then suddenly, you know, alarm cops appears at the sky and just saves everybody. I think I'm mixing up with metaphors here, but you know what I mean. But anyway, though, from the looks of this, this ain't looking good. Blue's getting rolled. Wh what did I miss? Um, oh, this ain't looking good. Blue is 
barely hold on to this by fingernails. Now this is the time to strike. If they can get second point back, Red might have been in there straight away. Who's on that point? Simply Jarvis there fighting like a champ, but oh dear. And he's down. Now, here's the thing. Red have a massive lead on them right now. They're doing really well from this. I mean, this is where you need a teleport to come up and, you know, start getting back to business with. Blue, they need to break through. They need a medic, kill off red team, and start recapping that back. Maybe get a blitz going even. Epic killer there. Nice work. Generally be heavy. Sit on the point and make sure they don't get anywhere near it. Now I think if he's supported nicely, perhaps there maybe needs to be a sentry or two somewhere. That'll do nicely. Now, you know, this thing is where crits. Oh, wait, there's a red crits. Oh, uh, and it kind of died. Um, if blue have a crits though, if they can actually get past red, take up half the enemy team and start a blitz going, that will save them. But they've got to be careful. Big cop there. Archie's oh, off chat. Oh, he's going on the long way, but I think he's going for that heavy. Now. Everything's still going on. I think um, I'm going to have to ask somebody to be very graciously uh, um, drop out of that account. I'm afraid Lanka can get back in for the time being. I mean, um, somebody very glamorous I mean. to put uh, up the server. That'd be. Thank you very much. Okay, Bubbles. But thank you very much for that. And Alarm Copter's back in. Uh, I, I blame Microsoft somehow. <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> but anyway, my Alarm Copter's back, folks. Who will be commenting shortly. Don't worry, Bubbles. You're going to get mentioned in the video. Now, in any case. Okay. Situation is four to one. Red team is winning, but can blue make a uh, dip now? Blue team is going to the last point. Now here's the thing: we've seen some scout. Oh, okay, there's a little bit of rare hope coming up here. Oh, it was simply Jarvis again. I'm, lo I'm loving simply Jarvis actually. He is really trying to attack in a hopeless time. If he can actually kind of get that going, get the ball rolling, actually, and get the rest of the team moving up, they might be able to save the game here because four one is not an enviable place to be. Right, come in. Uh oh. This ain't good. Alarm cop the epic killer's bleeding. <laughs> somebody, somebody seriously, I think somebody's using the, you know, the, the kind of hurt ball there. It's a nice little weapon actually, I'm not sure. I think it needs a little bit of something else going on there, but I think it's better than 1v1 fight. In a massive fight, I'm not so sure. <laughs> And you back, man? Yes, I am indeed. Hey, okay, he's back. Now, and since he came back, Simply Jarvis there. Again, try. Where, where is Blue Team? They need to support Simply Jarvis here. They nearly took back second. This is, you know, if they can get like a few scouts in this, cap that, you know, split, and then head for middle, this is where they can really start to bring back this game on a billet. Well, off talk, actually. Whoever's. <laughs> Whoever's teleport that is is pretty brilliant. Uh, oh, half a zero. Oof. Well, I think yeah, Red have his game. Oh, jeez. Oh man, Blue Hounds are e epically hurt here. <laughs> the engineer, an actual <laughs> apple. Is the oh no, and Blue are trying there for second, but Red had that teleport nicely done. Red team. 